for, let's see, day three of my COVID enforced imprisonment. Oh, well, maybe it is day four. And I don't know, day three, day four, day five of uh, the Cub Kaput project. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Today's uh, task is to get this drive belt back on here. So I've got the new pulley and uh, interestingly the, the one side here it's kind of like you probably can't see but this side is notably worn down in diameter from this side so not sure what got in there to stop it from turning I'll have to check and make sure there's all our clearances once it's together but the new pulley looks excellent there's the part number I guess if you want it and new belt rain so there's lots of mosquitoes in here and it's all kind of humid got my low profile creeper now that I know some tricks I think it'll be a little easier to get it on than it was to get it off so let's get to it okay so I've eyeballed the two belts and you can see how different they look especially on the face there there's all of this heat damage on this one it's not considerably narrower but it is a little bit so and they're the same length at least by my reckoning so I think the place to start is to get one end of this up on that fan pulley there Are you stealing? <laughs> Top Tech and, and Mama Cat popped by. I'm glad they left because this job led to some unsavory language. I wish I could say there was an easier way to get this platform up here. If there is, I don't know what it is. There's still work ahead. This nut and bolt that secures the idler pulley, the one that was worn out. It's right above here on uh, on some spacers. There's kind of a big spacer washer, so there's the, the arm that moves, or should. Oh, I think we're, yeah, park brake supplied right now, so. But this arm is the one that moves to engage the belt, and there's a pulley on it, and then there's the idler pulley here, and the belt runs on the back side of it. So it goes plate, arm, and then there's kind of a stepped spacer big flat washer that goes on top of the arm and locates it and then there's another spacer directly above that and the pulley sits on top of that and then just the nut to secure it all. Lawson has become quite the cuddle bug. <coughs> this job is proving to be pretty challenging. I think I've got the belt on the wrong side of a guard up in here, so I'm going to have to fix that. Um, I think I can do it without pulling this all down. Although it's pretty tight there, but I might be able to move something here. I had to unbolt the pulley mechanism basically so I could get this all in place because, you know, all of a sudden now you're fighting with the uh, with the brake pedal and the the shaft itself wants to move around and everything and it's just it's really quite difficult to get everything lined up where you would like it to be so that's kind of what I'm fighting against here there's the spacer and that sits down on this arm here and provides it with its pivot this is where it needs to be Let's pull that out. Now we're cooking with gas. Whoop, that's not the bolt. There's the bolt. This is the spacer that our new pulley sits on top of. So that's going to go in next. Ooh. 
Oy, 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 oy. So we'll put it in there first. Yep. And that. Stuff into there. Yep. Just right there. And this. Next. I don't know, man. I don't know. We're close. We're close. Okay. Oh, before we get too carried away, though, we got to make sure... Ah, probably better pull that out. We didn't put the belt on the right side of the pulley. It's going to come over here. There we go. Okay. All right. Got that through enough that I could probably start the flange nut on the top of the pulley. Just. Just, just, just. Oh, this has been quite a challenging little job, actually. Uh, a lot more so than I expected. And I don't know. I think maybe the only way is to pop this plate into place. Uh, you're just fighting so many linkages and springs and all these different things that all want to do their job at the same time. And just, they all just get in each other's way. So I think doing it this way, uh, it's not easy. I'm about to get my hand stuck in here as that tightens up. <clears throat> but, you know, you gotta just kind of keep fighting it and just make sure each step of the way that you've got everything, all the linkages in the right place and the belts in the right place. And it just kind of all really, uh, it's not much fun. Discovered the secret. It's this big spring here. This is your enemy. If you undo it, like this is what pulls back on all of this. If you undo it, you're golden. It's not that hard to put back on after the fact. So this bolt is tightened up. Everything's stacked up in there. I'm checking. There's nothing hitting on that pulley, so I think the old one was damaged, jammed up by a stick. So the last thing we have to do, we're going to put this back in the neutral position with the pedal so that uh, we remove the tension off of this and we'll install the belt onto the front pulley and install the pulley up onto the engine and then the deck can go back on. This thing will be essentially done needs a little bit more 200 hour service stuff but it's just grease and stuff so Whew. that's been fun so i've got the spacer back up in place here there is a key on this pulley so i'm just going to now that the there's no tension on the belt we're in the neutral position so i'm just going to slip that on sort of line up our keyway there we are Belt's got to go inside these little retaining guards here. I put some red Loctite on the bolt because uh, there's vestiges of red Loctite on there. And we don't want this rattling off. As far as torque spec, um, couldn't find anything specific, but a uh, chart for 7 16 20 grade. Oh, this is a grade 5. I thought it was a grade 8. It said 60. I guess it's not going to be 60. Probably something more like 40, which seems, you know, sounds pretty adequate. Uh, 
I'm not going to show you putting the deck back on and, you know, greasing some fittings. You guys can figure that out. Final thoughts on changing the idler pulley and the drive belt on a Cub Cadet or any MTD like this one, which there's uh, quite a few different brands uh, that this basic tractor sold under. You know, it's easier than changing the transmission in your car. Uh, it wasn't as easy as I expected it to be, but overall, yeah, not too bad. I think uh, with the help of a manual or, or something like that, which is probably available online, I just never even looked, um, or watching this and not doing what I did, it's probably not too bad of a job. Um, yeah, it'll be good though. That belt's been kind of getting weak for a long time. So it's uh, after seven years, it's a good time to change it. I do rate it as thirsty work for sure. So I'm going to call it a night for now and uh, we'll see you next time. Until then, keep it in the litter box. Cheers. That was well earned. <laughs>